your reaction to that. Democratic Congressman Elliot Engel uh, says that the president could avoid this whole soap opera by invoking the 14th Amendment and raising the debt limit right now. Good to have you, Congressman. He's not going to do morning, that, though, Neil. right? He's not going to do that. Well, I don't know. I mean, uh, I think the worst thing that can happen is default, and I think that uh, the 14th Amendment is something that the president needs to do. Uh, it's certainly clear to me after last night that's what he needs to do. It simply says that the public debt shall not be questioned. Uh, Bill Clinton thinks that's what he should do, and I think that's what he should do. And you know, well, I, I think I it's agree. too late, though, Congressman. Right? I mean, a, a move like that would, would probably spur an even greater potential constitutional crisis. The time for that, if it were, has come and gone. Well, I would have preferred it to be done uh, a week or two ago, but I, I think it can still be done. Um, you know, I agree with, with, with Gro Grover Norquist and, and others who, who said that we should just raise the debt now and uh, let's fight it out in the 2012 election. I think there are two very different visions, and I think the American people have to decide. I I feel sorry for John Boehner, whom I know very well. I think he's a captive of, 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 his, of his conference. I think that there are a lot of uh, newer people. Why do you Tea feel Party sorry people. for John Boehner? Why don't you well, feel sorry for the president? Because I, well, no, I mean, I feel it, so who's a captive of whom here? Well, I, I feel sorry for our country because, frankly, Neil, people uh, send us to Washington to try to to uh, figure out problems, and, and I'm one who believes in the sensible center, and I think that what we need to do is not move too far to the right or too far to the left. The people want us in the center, and I think but that the, would But, you mean... know, the Congressman, maybe the people are tired of the way this is played out. I mean, it was Democrats who unanimously voted against raising the debt limit when President Bush was president in 2006, and it was part of the theater, and we know how this booky theater goes. Both parties do it. So, so that was then. This is now. Now they're all of a sudden concerned, you know, financial Armageddon, yada, yada. But my, my, my point is, well, we've done this dozens of times, 18 times during when Ronald Reagan was president, and we're still in the same pickle. So maybe Americans are saying, you know what, um, that dog don't hunt. Well, I think what President Obama was trying to do, and again, I don't know the every detail of the package they were negotiating, but I think he thought that uh, because the pressure was on, this might be a chance to bring people together to try to negotiate those cuts. You, you know, you know the, the way to really do it, I mean, one side is saying no uh, revenue enhances at all, and another side is saying, well, no cuts in programs at all. And the truth is, it has to be both. You need to have cuts in programs, Cuts in spending. You, you need to have those that can afford to pay more pay a little more. You need to close but tax loopholes. But if they're already paying a lot, why would you pay more or suggest paying more, regardless of your views on taxes, for a lousy mm. product? I mean, you're, 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 do you walk into an auto showroom and they say, hey, look at this beautiful lemon here. It's going to cost you extra. Why would anyone entertain paying more for that product? Why not first address the underlying product that's, that's bloated, out of control, and simply costs too much as is? Because there are a lot of programs that middle class people depend on, like Social Security, like Medicare and Medicaid, and the my Republican colleagues want to slash those things. But you're making it like a life and death issue here. Things. When half the people well, in this country don't people. pay taxes, Congressman, and well, then you're saying for the few percent that, that pay at the top rate that they should pay more to make up for more than half who pay nothing, I, how is that fair or right or somehow uh, human or decent? Well, I'm saying that there are programs that people rely on, like Medicare and Medicaid and Social Security, and it's not decent to willingly really cut back? those can programs. Can they be scaled back? Can they, can they be, be, be addressed? Can their, their growth and costs be addressed? I think everything has to be on the table, yes. I don't think that we so can So do that first before to... you even consider charging more for the product. Why do we well, leap right away? No, we want to get the revenue thing in there right away. When, well, what, that takes the discipline away to address the cost, right? Well, because there are a lot of people, in my opinion, who are not really paying their fair share, who could do a little bit better. Look, we're there all There are more than together. half the people in this we're country all... who aren't paying at all. Well, Let alone maybe. the ones who aren't, you say aren't paying their fair share. They might beg to differ, by the way. But I mean, there are, well, there are half the people in this country who pay so nothing. Badly. Who pay, of course, those people would love to charge uh, more to the government and more to the people who, who they think are well off to continue sucking off the government. But let's, let's, let's call a spade a spade here, Congressman. I, 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 look, the, 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 uh, the Bush tax cuts, you know, help millionaires and billionaires. God bless them. But you know, I really think, George I really Bush, think it's the, the working that keeps people that need for you. the help. Congressman, you're a wonderful guy. But when do you guys let go of George Bush? I mean, 50 years from now, if a Democrat's in power, is he still going to be 
sort of Darth Vader? I mean, when do you let go? Well, well, the Republicans be beat up on Bill Clinton a lot, so I hardly think that uh, we're beating up on George Bush. Look, I, I don't, I don't. St George Bush has has come and gone as president, but we have to live, you know, based on what he put in. Um, I think those those tax cuts are unconscionable, given the fact if you look. But that's and doubled see, since this president came well, in. That, that's well, not because that's not George Bush is doing. Well, because this president in inherited a terrible economy oh, boy, from boy, George boy, Bush boy, boy. and the Republicans. Neil, all let right, me tell right. you. Neil, let me just say this Real to you. Fast. For six years, when Bush was president, Republicans had majorities in both the House and the Senate. They could have passed balanced budget amendments, all you kinds of things. A, you you could have passed a budget and they didn't last do year, it. Congress. And, and Democrats they didn't were, do it. Democrats were in total yes. control last year. You didn't pass budget. Yes. So all yes. I'm saying is That's there's true. enough blame to go That's around. true. But here's what yes. I want you to do. I want you to forget George Bush. I want you to forget George Bush. I want you to move on. I think it's an issue for you guys, and I just think you have to move on. He's well, gone. Well, I want, I want to move on, and I think by moving on, oh. it has to be shared sacrifices, not just senior citizens and working people. Shared uh, everybody, right, Congress, everybody I'm sorry, I got way over here. Sacrifice. Shared sacrifice means everyone is skin in the game, and more than half well, the people in this country who pay no income taxes at all don't have skin in the game. Yet they want, Neil. they want stuff from the government. Now, that just is. So uh, when you're talking about whether the rich are taking advantage of this system, you owe it to everyone in this country listening to you right now, many of them who admire you right now, Congressman, saying uh, he's not being fair. When everyone does no. their fair share, whether you say the rich have to do more, you have to acknowledge the fact that half the folks in this country, more than half, don't pay income taxes. They have no. to do more, right? The, everyone the has to do more. Everyone has to do more, but the people that can afford to do more should do a little bit more. I do think spending ought to be cut. I, I think this when is When the top five percent pay seventy okay. percent of the taxes in this country, I think they can rightly say, you know what? Well, we're busting our ass. We're doing quite a bit. It, are they, they making? Quit squeezing us. Are they making seventy percent of the total income? I mean, they're doing quite well. I'm not going to take out a collection. So just for the charge top 5 more. Charge more country. for the honor of doing no, well. No, no. I'm saying that. No, I'm saying right. that in order to bring the deficit down. We need to spend less, and we need to make those who can address pay the more, spending pay first, more. sir. Address the spending first. No, Get that I don't under think so. No, 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 no. Do no, it at the same not. time. No, never the address the spending time. first. Do it at the same time. Do it Let together, the half Neil. the people who aren't paying taxes at all continue that that mirage. Neil, do, do, that's do, not do, progress, do, Congressman. That is a joke. That is what has us Neil, on the brink do, of financial collapse. That do you thing, think? Do you think, Neil, that we should continue to subsidize big oil or that big corporations? No, go ahead, and stop it. I'm all for, no, I don't believe in any okay, subsidies, credits good. at all. What I do believe guy. in is everyone with skin in the game. And your plan says take skin from the few percent that could give more. And no. ignore the, the more than half that don't give anything. No, that's what your that idea of skin in the game is. That's not I, real. I, that's I, not true. I said both have to be done at the same time. Nah, you didn't say that. that, 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 that can, you didn't say that, Congressman. Been, you know you me left well, alone. Neil. I've been saying that a lot. No, you didn't. I you think just said you, need, did, you didn't say that at all. But, I Congressman, to, I like having you on. You just infuriate me. But, nevertheless, I appreciate you coming. The feeling's mutual. I like you, but you infuriate me. All right. We'll have more after this. It's time for a cup of coffee.